Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another NRL round reaction. We are on round 20, I believe. Um, yeah, we just did a stream the other day of the Roosters Storm match, which was, uh, it was, it was all right. I thought, I thought it was, I thought it was going to be a better match. It was still pretty fun though. It was good to see the, the Storm for the first time. They were really good. Papanausen's awesome. Um, yeah, that was a fun time. Um, and yeah, so, and yeah, we also did, also obviously we did the Origin Game 3 stream as well, which was, that was a blast really exciting game um yeah it, it pretty it lived up to the hype you guys had for it um so i'm glad i watched it glad you guys watched with me uh yeah it was really fun and yeah so we'll just hop into this um as always i'll do my i'll say what my pick was before each uh, each reaction and all that and uh yeah yeah uh, make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment your thoughts. Um, so we're almost at 3,000 subscribers, I just realized. So that's, yeah, that's wild. If you're not a sub, make sure to sub. That'd be awesome. Um, did not expect to get anywhere close to that number when I first started the channel up. So uh, that's awesome. But yeah, let's uh, let's hop into it. Alrighty, so first up we have the Raiders versus the Warriors. Um, I had, my pick was Warriors by four. Um, I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been liking the Warriors a lot lately. Uh, really want to see them sneak in the finals, but it's not looking good at the moment. But uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, Warriors Bay was my pick. Let's go. Now in Friday night footy in the nation's capital. And the Raiders will start with the footy in their hands. Papa Lee closing in on 300 games in the NRL. Here they go again. And the halves do. Raiders early. Chris to put the footwork on. Oh, not quite. Tackle made there by Tamari Martin. There's space here for Hudson. There you go. Okay. Raiders early lead. Not a great start for the Warriors at all. Let's see. Anywhere close to the line, you got to watch him. He's one of those threats that close to the line, he very rarely runs decoys. Now they can go either way. It is Papa Lee ball playing this time. Fogarty. Oh, jeez. Oh, is he another one? No. Did he, did he drop it? Oh, he got it. Okay, I thought he knocked it on there. And with the decoy, this will show it. Watch 11. He has to come in, creates room. I could have sworn he dropped it. Let's see. Hudson goes through. No, no, he didn't. What, what did I see? That was a weird cut. Smithies again with a set up run. Ball was reefed out, I think, by the third man. But wait, Egan just pulls the ball out. Seven. This is a cheap option. So Man, I'm so good. lost right now. My brain is like fried or something. <laughs> All right, there's a penalty. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Raiders are just destroying the Warriors right now. 14-0. Wait. Try for the Warriors here. Would be. Oh, jeez. He just threw that guy. Look at step. Jeez. The right care. A lot of tackles left here. They come right. They got him. They got him. They headed that way. Roger with depth. Nice. Shaq. There we go. All right. That's huge. Getting some points there before the break is huge. Going to regroup with, with some momentum for the next half. one of the first times I've seen them panic. Ooh. Big for him. Oh, geez. He's flying. Oh my god, oh he dropped. Yeah, that was sick, but he, he dropped it. Okay. There you go, Warriors. There you go. There you go. Nice. Oh, uh oh. Is he hurt? Looks, that looks bad. Looks like a injury. Yeah. Is that like a hammy or something? What was that? He scored a try. We'll set up a try in the center plane for Queensland. What a versatile player he has been. Oh, he's time. good. He's good. He's good. He was an origin. Nice. Barnett. There you go. Does he have Barnett tattooed on his ass? Is that what I just saw? That's crazy. They're on his like tailbone. <laughs> oh no way! Oh, it's Savage. Let's go, Savage. Oh my Jesus, Billy. Number nine, you're gonna, you're gonna hurt someone. That was a crazy kick. Just touches it down. Did he? Yeah, he got it. Okay. Where can they break this Raiders line? There, he missed left. Dang. There you go. That should be an easy conversion too, right? 
Yeah, that should be an easy conversion. Alright, see, just just hold on to it. Oh, he's missed it. Are you kidding me? Are you? A much needed win for the Green Machine. Their finals hope still alive. Ricky trying to make it five seasons out. You got to be kidding me. In the finals, but uh, the Warriors will feel like it's the one that's gotten away. Bro, how did that guy miss that? That's insane. How did he miss that? That was like. <laughs> That kick kind of summed up our season. Even my 10-year-old nephew was like, I would have got that kick, and he would have too. It's tough being a Warriors fan. That's crazy. Yeah, that's... Dude, you can't you can't be missing kicks like that. That's wild. That, like, ends their season right there. Holy smokes. Uh, Warriors, man. Every time, every time there's hope. <laughs> that's crazy that they miss that. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I guess yeah. My my week is off to a bad start for uh for my picks. I already know two of them are wrong, so that's crazy. Um, alrighty. So next up, we got the Rabbitohs versus the Tigers. Um, what did I have? Rabbitohs by fourteen. Was the Rabbitohs by four? Yeah, by fourteen. Rabbitohs by fourteen. Um, yeah, I've been I've been high on the Rabbitohs lately. After the coaching change, they've been doing pretty pretty well, and I love a good like comeback story. It'd be awesome to see them come back and make it. Um. And yeah, the Tigers are obviously like wooden spoon locks, basically. So, um, yeah, I'm expecting a bigger win for the Rabbitohs here. They they did lose Mitchell though, which is I didn't realize that when I made my pick. I don't believe. Um, so that yeah, that's a huge loss for them, obviously. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, let's just let's get into it. Rabbitohs by fourteen. It will be Fadua Bolle to take the first run of the day. Fans still streaming into the stadium. Early Rabbitohs try. No, no, no. Red and green on the Tigers line. Left side. And a charge. Yeah, there you go. Early Rabbitohs. Okay. A little too easy for the Rabbitohs. Last tackle. Got to go back to back. Oh, wow. Nice back to back. And the Dewey's on the march for the Tigers. It was first played for the Dewey. And that's a great There you go, that Galvin. There you go, Galvin. Nice. The future. Uh, two of the kindergarten players. Oh, the other guy was young too. Okay. Caesar, Bateman, Fend. Away from one. Galvin, another touch. Let's get off of Oh, just go straight up to Oh. There you go. Jeez, that's the, that's the young guy again, right? The other young guy? De Silva? Nice, there you go. Crazy, okay. Tigers take the lead now. Jeez. Rabbitohs, Rabbitohs. Nice. There you go. Gonna pass. Yeah, let's here see. Oh, good steps. Offload, offload. Nice. Wow, dude, the, the, the ball movement there is crazy. There you go, but it's okay. The Tigers brought it close and then just got stomped again. Tigers, last second try. Oh, what a run. What a pass, Galvin. Another pass. Let's go. Holy, what a half. What a half of play there. That was crazy. 40 points scored. Yeah, isn't, isn't. Sean Payton with his left arm strips the ball off South. The challenge by South is successful. And he can put it out on the road. Okay, yeah, I was going to say that the, he got stripped of it there. No, it wasn't dropped. You can't get stripped when you have more than one person tackling you. Right? Yeah. Oh, did he get that? That was that was one of the closest ones. No way. That was like this. His, hand, his right hand was like that far. Dude. 
Oh, what a step. Did you get it? I think he got it, yeah. Let's see. Uh, right there, yeah. He got it just in the last second. The Tigers are leading again. Oh, he, oh my god. Jeez, that's brutal. That's a wooden spoon play there. Holy. Ooh. Bro, 1v4. Yeah. Jeez. Oh. What happened? What? I didn't see what I didn't understand that rule. Let me know what that rule was. The, the feet leaving the ground? I'm not sure what that was. Oh, yeah, Rabbitohs. Jeez. Huge run. Oh, what a step. Oh, the heart. The heart to get that down is crazy. Did I just nail that? I think I did. Let's go. 42-28. Yeah, Tigers are just... Holy, man. I don't know if Luai's going to be able to save them next season. That's, that's wild. I guess, yeah, I don't know. They have a bunch of young guys that seem pretty good, but so... Uh, Lua will help, but yeah, they're they're a long way from being good, I think. Um, yeah, I just nailed that. 42-28, right? Is ma that's math, right? 14? Yeah. So Rebels by 14, I got that on the on the money. I don't think it's going to matter too much for my tips, though, because I'm pretty sure I missed, like, I think I know the score of, like, two other matches, and I think I got that both of, the, both of them wrong. So, yeah, but that helps the margin, I guess. Rebels by 14, huge. Uh, let's see the comments. Incredibly unfortunate from the back line. Yeah, Tigers had the game. Finally, we're leading. Why drop the ball? <laughs> Number two definitely put some bets for the Rabbitohs to win. Can't wait to see Benji bitching about his boys again. <laughs> some good sense of improvement for the Tigers. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, the Tigers, man. They, yeah. Luai's going to help. Luai, he should help, right? Like, bring in, like... A Panthers guy should help. Like he can he, even like just like the culture stuff. He can like sort of bring that culture onto the young players and stuff potentially. And unless Luai is not much of a, I don't know anything about Luai like personally, but like I'd assume if he's in a Panthers mainstay and he's like on Origin and stuff, he's probably um a pretty like team focused guy, right? So that should help him at least. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to watch see how that plays out. Anyways, okay, Knights, Knights, Broncos. I think I know the score of this one. Um, I picked Knights by six. I'm pretty sure the Broncos blew them out. Um, this game, this this was the game that was on before the uh, Storm Roosters game, right? And I, I, I turned it on for a second just to see if it was worth uh, uh, watching, like before that my stream started up. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like a Broncos blowout. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We are underway here. Broncos. <clears throat> Nights. And what a catch from the kickoff by Kalen Ponga. Look at Ponga's plan. Yeah, Ponga was getting hyped up by you guys in there. Oh, there's Walsh. Jeez, Walsh. Oh, what a kick, dude. Oh, we knocked it. Man. That was a sick kick, the outside foot. That was... Oh, he was... Man. Oh, it's Best. Oh, Best is out. Okay, that's not good. Looks like all the Origin guys are playing then, though. No, Ponga, Ponga, Best, and Walsh all playing. I'm actually, I'm kind of surprised Walsh is playing because didn't he, he didn't he get hurt like three times in the in Origin game three? He had like a leg injury, then a back injury, and then like a like a uh, like a rib injury or something in like the same game. But I guess yeah, I guess the Broncos need him, right? They need him to get back in the finals picture. Dylan Lucas. Yeah, Ponga too. You guys are having Ponga up in the uh, in the Origin stream. Um, a lot. He's really fast and stuff, and he's really good. Anyways, Knights. No scores yet. Looking like it's going to be here though. Yeah, jeez. Where's the D? All right, Broncos up. 
Actually. Great pass there Ooh. from Walters. Excuse out to me. Reynolds, who got him attacking straight to the edge with his halves partner, Mam. And the speed and footwork of Mariner out on that left hand side. Just a little too much to handle. Well, Walsh was fading to the right. Now he goes back to the left hand side. Just oh, man. Yeah, speed. where's the dude? Because they're, they're just running in. He just backed oh, it's Walsh. Oh, he was he did he come in for uh he's too fast and scores their second he's wearing 20 not uh his usual number did he come off the bench or did he, or just because he was named as like a reserve before the match so he has a different number to start okay still trying to find his way in walters for reynolds Goes over the top man walsh is there dude what is the knights Jesus, that I mean, oh, the the, fin the finish was strong, but that was just like, what are the Knights doing, man? That was wild. Jeez, Walsh's. Where was this in Origin, man? Yeah, you guys were saying in the in the stream that Walsh is like, he's not an Origin player. Like, he's really good at abusing like lesser players, but when everyone's really good, he's like not as strong. Puts it down now. Which that makes sense. I guess some players are like that. Jeez. Taken down there by Saifidi. Try saving tackle made, but here they are. Here's Walsh again. Oh, what a throw! Jeez. What delivery that was. Comes to Reynolds. Yeah, Walsh is looking like electric in this game. He didn't even. Jeez, there's another one. Jeez. Yeah, he looks like a. This is what I'm used to seeing from Walsh. He's just like insane. And then I don't even remember him doing anything in, in Origin outside of getting smoked by Swahili in Game 1. <laughs> I feel like he was a non factor. Jeez, there you go, Knights. There's one. 3 24 4. Oh, no way, dude. Okay, the Knights' D is. They're asleep today. Is your man? That's a shot. No. Sheesh. <laughs> Try July. Worth. <laughs> Thirty to four. Okay, next we got one. There you go. Nice. Did he get? He might. Mm, yeah, you got it. Okay. That was close though. He almost didn't uh, have control. There's another one. Okay. I mean, there's there's no hope there. It's still a huge. Yeah, they're still down by a ton. There's Walsh. Oh, wouldn't. Oh, I thought he offloaded that. That was a hand, though, not, not the ball. <laughs> Walsh. Walsh is the feisty. Walsh and Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> time here in Newcastle, taken down the Knights, <laughs> All right, 30-14 for the Broncos. Yeah, Knights, yeah, I had Knights by six. Yeah, the Broncos, they finally won one. What was that? That was, they had six, six, six L's in a row, I think. That's good back to the win column, yeah. There was a guy in my stream, I, so, I, sorry, I forget who, who it was, um, that said his prediction was the Broncos uh, make make finals and then they, they uh, end up in the grand finals, which that would be, be a crazy story. Uh, anyways, comments. Good to see Reynolds back. I needed, needed that man like crazy. Bit sloppy. Good to see Reynolds out there. Walsh was on fire. Great game, man. You can tell when Reynolds is back, the team is good. Okay. Walsh should have played this in the origin decider. Yeah. I'm not trying to glaze, not even a Broncos fan, but Walsh might have just played one of the best games by a single player this year. Yeah. Yeah, like that, that, that game, like... That game was like what I expect from Walsh whenever I watch him. Like, because yeah, when, when I was reacting to him, when I was reacting like in the first few rounds, he was just like scoring tries at wills and stuff. And he was like the first guy I pointed out that I'd watched in the NRL that like just seemed like a superstar. You could just tell he was like one of the best or one of the most like he just like has like the it factor, I guess, when you watch him play. But yeah, that was he had a couple crazy passes and stuff. All right. Let's go to the next one. Storm Roosters. Okay, yeah, this this is the game I did a stream for, so I'm not going to react to the highlights here. Um, if you want to check out my reaction to the full game, I have a live stream up. Um, I'll post the link in the description, and you can like scroll through the the time code if you if you want to. Um, but yeah, no, it was a pretty good game. 
Poppenhausen is my first time watching the storm live and Poppenhausen was, um, he was awesome. You guys said he's dealt with a ton of injuries, but when he's healthy, he is, he is awesome. And yeah, I mean, he, he did, he did a post game interview too. And he's, he's like a, he seems hilarious. So definitely, definitely one of my favorite players after watching him. Um, and then was it Hughes? I believe, I believe it was Hughes, right? Um, and he, yeah, he was sick too. He made, I mean, he made a really clutch tackle. Um, the Roosters were like mounting a comeback, and he like basically saved saved the or ended the comeback by t- making a clutch tackle with like five five minutes left on like the five meter line, I believe. I'll be asking the comments. Not a real Roosters game unless Radley spends at least ten in the bin. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Fat Fat Alongo, Fat Longo, Fat Longo. Yeah, you guys say the G is like NG for uh, is it, is it Islanders? Is that the right term, Islanders? I think is what you guys mentioned uh, said. Apologies if that's incorrect. I, I believe that's what you guys said though. Oh yeah, F- Foul Longo. He he came in at a sick try too. Yeah, yeah. He he's awesome. I definitely can keep my eye out for him. Uh, but he's, he's like a mix of Billy Slater and Benji Marshall. That'd be that's two greats, obviously. Uh, minor. Oh yeah, and the, yeah. The Storm pretty much. Yeah, they're on their path for the minor premiership. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, yes. My my pick for this game was Roosters by one. But obviously the Storm took it. Um. Okay, Panthers, Dolphins. Very excited for this one. We got the return of Nathan Cleary. Um, yeah, we have not, he's been out for a while. Like, how many? It was like eight weeks, 10 weeks, maybe. I haven't seen him much at all. I don't I, I don't think I've seen him actually play live yet either. I don't think I watched the Panthers uh, by the time he, he got hurt. I, I don't think I'd watch the Panthers unless I might be mistaken. I'm pretty sure I haven't, though. But um, yeah, so this one I had Panthers by 20. Um, it's a home game. Cleary's back. I, f- I figured Cleary's going to come out flying. He's probably been biting at the biting. Uh, man, what's the term? Biting at the. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. He's he's been wanting to get back in the game, so I'm ex- expecting him to have a dominant performance. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Panthers by twenty was my pick. Let's go. Um, and yeah, is Lou? Let's see. Is is Lou a playing? You get to watch all three matches on a Super Sunday, if you will. I think Luai was on the reserves, but still willing to offload, but it came after. Kenny takes it right to the line. Allowed to bounce. Okay, I don't believe Luai's playing. Cleary, jeez. What a pass. Four minutes in. <laughs> yeah, what a pick. Or what a pass. They score the opening try. Hmm. Nice hands by Dolphins. Jeez, what a try. That was a really good try. Katoa. Oh, that was nasty. Katoa. That was, that was nasty. Derek Katoa is from Penrith. Pen, from Penrith. Scored the first try. It's been all the Dolphins since then. Did he used to play on the Panthers, or was he just like a uh, play for the junior junior squads? Jeez. Oh, did he get that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't look at the legs. You got it there, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Oh my God. That, okay, what is dude? Okay, the Dolphins have scored some crazy tries this game. Plath to Katoa, and then Nikarima drifting across. There's Jeez. That's Bostock. Nice. So we saw his sister play in uh, the Junior Origin. Jack Bostock. Future superstar of the women's side. Do it on both sides. Oh, stock. The catch and pass. It was beautiful. Look at that. Put down. Oh, yeah. Great nice. Yes. <laughs> Ten in from touch. He didn't even follow through. He just bumped him and gets out of the way. Adam G had a clear side of it. He have to score more yeah. than that average to chase. Did the they come in to just say that he didn't Masako do anything wrong high, there? That seemed pretty pace. clearly to be like and the lead is after 14. the kick. <laughs> yeah, dude, right the Dolphins are clearing. smoking them. What the heck? Smith. Let's see. With Katoa. Kenny thought about going short side. Moses oh, Moses. What a play. The there you go. Harris back on. There's tons Kenny of time. The base. Larry with the ball. Oh, what a step. 
Jeez. Back to back for the Panthers. There you go. For sure. Beach. She's in there, right? Five minutes left. Oh, no way. No, yeah, he needs, he needs support. He needs support. Yeah. Yeah. Sinbin, oh my god. Yeah, what was that guy doing? He was like sitting on him like crazy. Cleary, come on. Bang. High game. And, and, a, and a Sinbin. Oh, don't tell me Dolphin score with a Sinbin. That'd be crazy. Kafusi. Uh oh. Uh oh. Good tackle. Good tackle. Great tackle there to Ruva. They used up a lot of time with all that passing. All right. Oh, let me get one for. Oh no way. What a grubber to himself. Offload. And buzzer. No way. He's got. A, yeah. Good. Okay. Overtime. Holy. Okay, we got a close one. It's going to be a kick or a try. Let's see. Cleary. And 42. Jeez. Cleary. Holy. Dude, what a kick, man. First game since round 10. Yeah, he missed 10 weeks. That's crazy. That was such a far kick. I feel like in all, in all the golden point matches we'd watched the last few rounds, there's been so many. But I feel like people were missing from like 20 meters like over and over again over time. And he kicks this. The first one is like 40, 42 meters, they said. That's crazy. All right. So, yeah, that was – yeah, clearly made some crazy plays that game. Um yeah, Panthers by 20, obviously it was Panthers by one, but uh, or was it two? It's Panthers by two? Yeah, Panthers by two. Uh, Panthers by two is, yeah, a lot different than 20, but yeah, statement game for Cleary, so good. Uh, Cleary's a freak, yeah. Come, what a comeback, eight weeks after injury, looked very fit, love the team around the park. Yeah, Dolphins looked really good, but Cleary took control, yeah, that's, yeah, like, the Dolphins had some crazy tries in that game. They were like, yeah, it's crazy. Clear is just the unspeed king of rugby league in the modern era. At this point, to pull something off like that is freakish. If you fought to consistently, yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, you guys, like, I, I did a react. I did, I did a reaction to Nathan Cleary, right? And pretty much everyone said, like, he is, like, he's one of the best ever. He just hasn't done it in origin yet. That's the only thing missing from his, like, like achievements in his career. And he's got, I mean, he's got, like, 10 years more to play right probably which is insane so i'm sure at some point he'll get his origin uh his origin uh flowers but um yeah he's yeah he's he's insane um all right sea eagles versus titans okay i had a blow it here for the sea eagles by 22 is most my pick um yeah it's a home game um cherry evans and cherry evans is i'm assuming cherry evans is playing right um Probably wanted to get back on the swing of things right away after losing Origin. Um, and then Trebo Trebojevic, is he is he going to be playing? I... I'm i not sure. He might be, he might have gotten a bit too, uh, had a bit too much fun with the uh, with the celebrations, but we'll see, I guess. And then his his brothers should be playing, right, Tom? Um, yeah, his brothers should be playing, so he he's a freak, too, you guys are mentioning. He's like, he's like, uh, he's like popping out and where he's been injured a ton, but when he's healthy, he's like really good. So excited to see that. Let's see, if, let's see what happens. The beaches of Sydney, the Titans against the Sea Eagles. Enjoy this one on Nine's Wide World of Sports as Josh Alloyer takes the first hit up of the contest. Oh, maybe is Evans not playing? Oh, there he is. I'm he's seven. Okay. All right. Good start for the Titans. The Titans are weird. Like I. They just win random games, I feel like, where they shouldn't. So I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them win this. Oh, excuse me. 
Jeez, no stop. Yeah, okay, Chaboyevic is playing. Jake Chaboyevic. Chaboyevic. Oh, no way. Just dunks it. They didn't get him down. The ball stayed off the ground, and both for more reaches out, and the Titans nice. get their second. All right, not a good start, but here we go. Here we go, Seagulls. Oh, what a step! Nice, huge try before the half. They needed that. Needed that badly. The Titans forwards were starting to look very, very tired with all this football that we're seeing. Well, they look dangerous on the left-hand side of the field, Manly. We're doing well down low. Simkin, Brooks, Talao. Here you go. Back to back. Bang. Bang, Eagles. Okay, so it should be 12, 12, 8. Oh, look at his, his eye is shut. He's completely shut. Holy. He shouldn't even be playing like that. He can't even see out of his, his eye. Oh, what a pass. Trebojevic. Jeez. <laughs> cool, Sally. That's supposed to be like a... Is that supposed to be like a beak, like an eagle beak, doing this? Well, let me know, let me know what that Sally was. If that's not correct, it kind of made it look like he had like a like an eagle beak, but maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy. Jeez. Jeez, yeah. All right, here's the blow. It started. Tom Trebojevic. Here we go. <laughs> Does the volleyball sell you? Oh man. Alright. Blow out, blow out. He's got it, he's got it. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, good tackle. What a tackle. <laughs> he's like, oh man. There we go, Trebojevic again. <laughs> Good offload, good offload. Well, this guy is flying. Oh, the two Trebojevic, the two Trebojevic's and, and Cherry Evans are all right there. <laughs> that's, that's intimidating up against. <laughs> oh, look at the hands. That was similar to the, to Best's, um, try the other in Origin. Just like the ball bling thing. Great pass and then ball was it. Well they just flashed up the fatigue alert and it was five minutes forty. Nice. The the hands. Have just been relentless to settle for the last two or three sets from Manly. Oh yeah, another one? Jeez. Nice. All right, what's this going to be, 30, 30 point margin or 30, yeah, 30 point margin, okay. There you go, Seagulls, yeah. Yeah, I had, yeah, it's Seagulls by 22, so yeah, 30, yeah, I mean, that's, that, that was expected, I think, right? Especially with all the Origin guys playing, like, going to be tough to beat that, beat them, they're a great team. They're in, like, the second, the second group of, of teams here, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're in like the storm. I think the storm and the Panthers are the clear two best, and then there's like a big, there's a big grouping of teams here that are like, yeah, the Seagulls. I feel like they have like they have a lot of good. If you have the two Origin captains on your team, like that's kind of crazy. That that shows you got a really good like team culture, I guess, in your room. You got two like staples of of the league, and then they have a lot of talented guys. You're saying they just need to stay healthy, pretty much, and they'll be they'll be a contender. Uh, Tommy Turbo on fire. Good to see Burbo and Tello, Tello doing the thumb up, sub something doing the thumb up try celebration following Turbo's footsteps. Uh, good in the origins for players for backing up. Even Billy, best Turbo's looks since twenty twenty one. Yeah. All right, last game of the round. This is actually a really good match too for the last game. Uh, we got the Cowboys versus the Bulldogs. 
Um, I went Cowboys by six. Um, I know I know Cowboys fans. Usually when I pick you guys, you end up losing. So apologies again. I'm um, trying to break the curse though. Eventually they gotta. Eventually they gotta win, right? Actually, did did they win the last time I picked them? I oh, I forget. I think I did. I think they did win last time I picked them. But before that, it was just like oh, L's every, every time. Um, yeah, B- Bulldogs are obviously a great team. Uh, but the Bulldogs, I, I, I actually like a few weeks back, I saw, I noticed that the Bulldogs hadn't won a game on the road yet. So I, so I bet against them, and then of course they, uh, they win, so they win like on the road after I bet on them. Um, but yeah, they're still, I think they're like one and eight on the road this season, which is that's a while. That's it's it's like too that's like too crazy of a stat to like ignore. I feel like so. Went with the Cowboys, but I would, yeah. Once again, I wouldn't be shocked if the Bulldogs win, right? Because the Bulldogs are a great team. So we shall see. Um, Cowboys by six is my pick. Let's wrap up round twenty of the NRL and set sail for the finals. One last game this weekend, and bringing it forward from the kickoff. Drink water. We're kicking duties again. High, straight down the ground, and now oh, brutal. The <laughs> what a start for the Cowboys. For the Cowboys. Holy. The kick from Drinkwater, put down by Kiraz, and Helam Lukey does the rest. In Townsville, off a dog's error, very Man, high up crazy. on his chest, almost oh, on his shoulder hey, puppy. Puppy. Rose is joining the reaction. I guess actually you can't see her, but oh well, she she's in the background. All right, let's get back into it. Oh, good pass. You got it. Oh, did he? No, I only got that. Oh, no, he did. Jeez, okay, that was crazy. That was so fast. Oh, that was a knock on, yeah. I saw that, I saw that. Oh no, it was, okay, it was because of the... Okay, it's because they took a penalty that happened. I saw what looked like a knock on by the Bulldogs, but no, it wasn't him. Oh, is that a high? Yeah, that was high. Yeah, you got him, Mr. Bit, around the, around the head. There you go. Eight points each. Eight point Able game. To the left. It goes to him now. He's Sexton. Another great. Man. Well Another great. Wow. Two really Jerry. good kick plays there. A second try assist from Toby Sexton, and again it's nice. his boot doing the job. Now Robson behind McIntyre. Dearden. Oh, what a pass offload. Oh, that was a he has interference, wasn't it? I think that was interference. The support players in front of Blake. If he gets a clean catch at it, he potentially scores. Because of that, it makes it a professional foul. Professional foul, yeah. Send in. Ooh. I thought that guy just got smoked in the head there, but no. Okay, Cowboys, there you go. He almost you know, like a knee to the head almost. Final play here. Flat-footed. Burton kicks. And it'll kick. Burton. Oh, wow. What a grab. By Jacob Kiraz. Crazy. Tell home standing still. you got Perez with all the momentum his way. It, he almost, in his attempt to catch the ball, he what just bumps mean? Val Holmes hey. out of the way, which is totally <laughs> legal. Peter Goff in the bunker. Ruling no try, Bailey Haywood. Sure, sorry, I just missed what happened. Is that guy okay? Holy. I don't think there's a touch from the cowboy. Yeah. They're just oh, yeah, he didn't. Contact to the head of oh. Bailey Haywood is. The cowboy yeah, is he okay? Then makes direct contact with the head of Bailey. I'm okay. Let me, let me rewind this. I missed I miss what happened here. He just bumps Val Holmes out of the way, which is totally legal. Oh, yeah, the knee to the head. Holy. No try, Bailey Haywood. Sheesh. I don't think there's a touch from the cowboy. Yeah. That wasn't like intentional, but like it was, it was reckless. Oh. Bailey Haywood is the cowboy. Yeah, that's that's the same thing, right? Direct contact with the head of Bailey with the knee. This will be a penalty. Let's say he's okay. 
So I can sort of understand the want to go to four. And All right, 18 14. No cinnamon, though? Okay. Oh, wow. Cowboys, two and one, yeah. Oh, the ankle tap. That was such a close ankle tap, totally. All right, tie game. Should be, should be a conversion. There you go. Cowboys by two. Bang. The curse is. I'm, I'm calling it. The curse is broken. The Cowboys' curse is broken. You are welcome, Cowboys fans. All right, let's take out the comments. Both teams evenly matched. Holmes kicking was the difference in the end. Yeah, Dearden, what a player, been fantastic for club and state. Maddie Russell, the muscle. Dearden will be right wearing green and gold in this season. Can't, cows can't win the comp without him. What does green and gold mean? Is that like a, is that like the All Star team or something? Green and gold. Yeah, let me know what that. Or is that wait? Is that talking about like the the national team, the Wallabies or something? I don't know. I'm confu I'm confused. Oh, okay. Uh, Burton missed some kicks today. Looks like okay. Interesting. Because he was he was super clutch with his kicks lately. So that's that's interesting that he, he missed some this week. Um. All right. All right. So let's take a look at the ladder and then the draw and all that. So yeah, the ladder. So yeah, Storm. Storm are like in really good position. Um. I guess there still is like ten games left, right? Or not ten games. Like seven. Yeah, they're at three buys and seventeen games. So like is it seven more weeks, right? Seven, seven more rounds. Yeah, so the Storm are definitely in position to win. They'd have to, like, blow a few games, right? But, um, yeah, Panthers, Sharks are still, uh, they, do they have a bye? No, who, who do they play this week? No, yeah, no they, they had a bye this week, okay. Um, yeah, so the Sharks are still, like, they're still up there. Like, they're still doing well. Um, just haven't been doing too great lately. But, uh, yeah, Roosters, Seagulls have been good. Seagulls, I think, are a team that could, um, I think out of all these teams, that are like I think the Seagulls might be the best team out of out of the, uh, the teams outside of the Storm and the Panthers. I think they might have the best like chance if they're healthy. Um, yeah, it's it's hard to overlook um, like the culture I guess they must have with all their um, all their captains and, and all that and like all the brothers together too. It's pretty crazy. They're probably a pretty tight knit group. Um, but yeah, Bulldogs, Dolphins. Yeah, there's such a such a big like. Yeah, it's so tight. It's so, 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 so tight. It's crazy. Um, all right. Yeah, do we think of the Broncos are going to sneak in, though? I don't know. I don't know. See what we're going to say. Um, the Bulldogs, the Bulldogs are like, look at that record 8 0 at home and 1 and 8 on the, on the road. That is wild. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. Um, anything else? Yeah, like the, yeah, the Bron yeah, well, okay, the Broncos are still they're plus twenty five in their points, so they they are definitely a team that. Oh, and they're missing a bye. Okay, well, if the Cowboys are too, so that's these these two teams both have uh, points in the bank from buys. So that is yeah, interesting. Yeah, I think that the Broncos got to make it right. It'd be it'd be crazy if they don't make it. I think they will. Um, I don't know who's gonna fall out. Um, Yeah, it's gonna be tight. They're gonna have to. Yeah, it'll be crazy. Um, okay, stats. I don't really care too much about the stats anymore. I, I was looking at them a lot, but yeah, I'll just quickly go through them. Uh, Isaac is leading the way. Holmes, Mimi, uh, Pereira is leading the way for the Titans with the tries. That's kind of crazy. I, yeah, that, I think this is the guy I mentioned. I think I mentioned him in, in my stream. I was like, isn't there a guy that's been scoring a try like every game lately? And I think it was Pereira. Um, goal, Sam Walker. Um, there's Dom Young with the line breaks. Try assist, Ben Hunt still up there. Offloads, line break, overseas, kicking, kick meters. Hey, Katoa's got, okay, Katoa's like taking over Johnson for like the, the, the kick guy. There's tons of kicks for the Dolphins. Mahoney's been leading the way for tackles all season. Look at that. 200 more than the next guy. It's crazy. Dally Evans leading there with intercepts. Uh, errors. Uh, yeah, Lomax. Lomax is still tied up there for first, but it looks like most like Lomax drink waters are savage. Those are good players, right? Um, yeah. Okay. So look, look at the draw. Let's look at the game we're gonna do next week. I'll probably put this to a. Actually, no, I'm not gonna put it to a vote. We're gonna do this one. Broncos Bulldogs. We're gonna do a stream for this one. It's a good time for me. 10 p.m. is perfect for me. 
Um, is there another game that's worth doing that's not in the middle of the night? Panthers Dragons would be fun, but I yeah, Panthers should win that, right? Um, Rooster Seals would be good too, but actually there's a bunch of really good games. Yeah, I know. We're going to do Broncos Bulldogs though. That's the, uh, that's the game. Actually, is there a team? Who have I not watched again? Uh, there's definitely, there's, there's like two more teams I haven't watched after watching the Storm. But yeah, Broncos Bulldogs is a good match. We're going to do that one. Uh, Bulldogs on the road again. So yeah, their one and eight record is, is that could go to one and nine. And then the Broncos, they need to start winning games and the Bulldogs are a team they're chasing, right? They're like four points back. So that's a huge game for the Broncos. If they can win that, they can get them like almost tied with the Bulldogs. So that's a huge match. We're going to do this one for sure. Broncos, Bulldogs. And yeah, let's just, um, yeah. Um, yeah, make sure to join the tipping leagues if you're not in the tipping leagues. Um, that has been really fun. And then, yeah, we, we will do Broncos Bulldogs on, was that Friday? Saturday for you guys? Saturday afternoon for you guys. Should be a fun time in there in the stream. Um, yeah, tipping video will be out on Tuesday or Wednesday. Wednesday for you guys? Wednesday for you guys, I believe. Wednesday morning. Yeah. Oh, and I guess uh, Women's Origin starts next week as well. So we will do a... Um, I'm probably just gonna do this in the in the Discord, um, but I'll, I'll I'll ask you guys like just to tell me if, which which game in the women's origin was the or not the, not the women's origin the women's NRL, um, which game was the best game of the week, and then I'll just react to the extended highlights of like the best game that week. I'll, I'll do that weekly. Uh, I, might, I might just at the end of I might just add it at the end of our NRL uh, round reactions, or maybe I'll just everybody. I, I don't know yet, but um. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure make sure to do that. So if if you're if you watch the women's NRL, um, and you're not in the Discord, join the Discord because I definitely need some people to let me know which which game would be best to to watch each week. Because I, yeah, if you're an NRLW fan, hop in the Discord and definitely I'll I'll make a channel there where you can like just tell me which game was the best. Uh, don't don't spoil the game obviously, but just tell me which game was the best each week and I'll get a reaction out to it. Um, yeah, all right, we're wrapped up there. Thanks for watching. Uh, sub, like, comment, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, almost at 3K. I think we're like at 2, 2800 right now, so almost 3K. It'd be awesome to get to that by uh, by by the time finals start. Ideally, that'd be crazy. Um, yeah. All right, let's wrap it up. Thanks for watching.